All right, welcome back everybody. And today we're gonna to continue information security. In the last video, we deployed the web app, which was actually quite difficult. So now we're just gonna be moving through this thing. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna hide potentially dangerous information using Helmet Hide Powered By. Okay, as a reminder, this project is being built upon the starter project. So yeah, if you don't have, if you don't have the code from the previous video, I recommend you do that. Hackers can exploit un, uh, known vulnerabilities in Express slash Node if they see that your site is powered by Express. X powered by Express is sent in every request coming from Express by default. Use helmet .hide powered by middleware to pro to remove the X powered by header. So where was this even being found? Um, let's see. I'm just going to open up the app. Command J to open up the um, boilerplate inspect. Um, npm start. That gets our application running locally. <clears throat> So let's see if we go to localhost 3000. Um, let's go inspect. So they're saying that somewhere in the network tab, um, oh, powered by Express. Okay. So I guess this makes it so that if hackers are working on trying to figure out how to uh, exploit your web application, this gives them information about this technology you're using. And this will be powerful and useful. Um, so I guess what we're trying to do is hide that. Now that's my guess. Headers for your, was that style? Powered by Express. Yeah, so it's the CSS files doing that. Let's see what happens if we were to hide the CSS. Um, if I just move it to the to the main directory, just to kind of break it. If we were to refresh now, style CSS wouldn't be there, but it still has Powered by Express, so that doesn't help. Um, so it was in public. Move it back. Uh, refresh. Okay, so let's see what, how that works. <clears throat> um, powered by Express is sent in every request coming from default. Use the helmet.hide Powered by middleware to remove the Powered by Express. Hmm. Well, Luckily, they say uh, they've got this thing here where it's like, don't affect, don't mess with this file. And so it's, we're, we think that it's going to be in here. So let's see what happens. Um, let's go. Nice. Helmet.hide powered by to remove the middleware. So let's say save this. And then let's go back over to our local environment with our recording on. Um, we can clear it here, and then if I refresh here, if we go to style CSS, powered by Express is still there. So it's not working. <clears throat> so we need to find out what's going on there. But before we do that, let's see what the documentation says. Uh, Helmet.hide powered by. Hide powered by. App.use helmet. Your helmet. Okay, here we've got that app is constant. App dot use helmet. Quick start. Ha okay, so in this documentation, it shows app dot use helmet. We're not really doing that yet. So let's go app dot use helmet. Uh, by default, the uh, sets of the following headers. App.use helmet. And then in here, we want to pass in an object. But that's not what the instructions are telling us. It says hide powered by. No refer. Sets custom options for refer policy. Hide powered by. Okay, so we open up this. Hide powered by. Express has built in way to disable how hide app.use helmet dot hide powered by. Use helmet. Dot hide powered by. And then we need to put a thing here. Okay, so now if we save this. Wow, this is not. Okay, so now if we refresh here, we see our CSS is installed here. 
and Express powered by powered by Express still there middleware to remove the dot use dot listen app dot export huh X powered by Express X powered by Express so it's still there it's not actually hiding it so let's just see what happens there powered by powered by not hiding um, what is the word X powered by O'Reilly Media see what you got Express can develop the, or you can use helmet app.use helmet powered by app.use helmet dot hide powered by hmm. okay so I'm saying it's not working locally let's see what happens if it gets if we can deploy this to the to our server so get status you see that we've got uh, my app change get diff um, Okay, it's showing that we just added the hide powered by, so we can go get add, get commit, uh, hide powered by, uh, get push. Uh huh, uh huh. Okay, so now we can go back over to rendered, and we're just going to see if this deploys by itself. So we've got the option for manual pow deploy here, but let's see if we can connect to this to make SSH available outbound. Access your service from render anywhere with SSH. Well, let's see if we just go to dashboard. Okay, cool. It is doing a deployed in progress right now. So here, uh, if we click here, we see that it's actually deploying. And so we're just going to wait. This is probably going to take five or 10 minutes. And so I'll get back to you when we're ready. All right. <clears throat> so it looks like we've deployed. It says that it was done at 734, which was two minutes ago. If I copy this URL and we visit, so here, here we have the local host and here we have the deployed version. Okay, and so um, let's actually clear this, hit the record and make sure you have preserve log on and then we'll render it again. So now let's see if it worked. Refer policy, X rendered origin server render. Okay, wow. Interesting. So, in the local environment, right? Oh, we need to get it started again. NPM start. In our local environment, if we inspect and we hit to the network, um, let's refresh the page. Our style CSS. Refer policy strict origin when cross origin. Okay. So I'm guessing that this is right the way that it's supposed to be. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we've got our deploy to environment one. And if we come over here, paste it in here, I've completed the challenge. It says that we've done it. Okay, so yeah. Uh, I don't know why it didn't work initially, but once we deployed it and committed our changes, it started working. And so that was the simple code. But obviously, with these um, deployed environments, the hard part is actually getting the stuff working in the environment, in the real world, rather than just simply writing code. So we're really getting into more advanced topics here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next video.